Hey, what's going on, everybody? So I uh, wanted to come back with an update, uh, like I said I would, regarding the uh, Live Rock Enhanced by Reef Bright. Uh, I put in my fifth uh, dose of it on Saturday. Um, I'm about to put in another dose today. But as of right now, uh, there's not too many, not really any signs of dino. Um, what I did was, you know, I had a, I had a pretty nasty bout with dino. Um, I've increased my feedings. Uh, I was feeding kind of, you know, just kind of hit and miss every day, every other day. I wanted to make sure I fed every single day. Uh, I feed every other day with uh, Bena Reef by Bena Pets. Um, and then I've been doing the treatment every other day um, with the Reef Bright Live Rock Enhance. Um, you know, after kind of day or the fourth treatment, things were looking pretty good. Um, a lot of the stuff, the dino was getting replaced by green hair algae. I can handle that because, uh, you know, my urchin handles it for me. Um, it, it's really active. It's It's gotten a lot more active than it was before, so I think the, the dino was having a lot of, a lot to do with that. Um, but, uh, it, you know, during the process, I've lost a few snails, and I'm not sure about hermit crabs. I don't see very many anymore like I was before. Um, I have thousands of brittle stars, as you can see here. Uh, there's a bunch poking out all over that rock because um, I did a little bit of manual cleanup today um, So anyway uh, back to it uh, After the fourth treatment saw a lot of it was turning into green hair algae uh, Urchin was taking care of a lot of it um, did the fifth treatment on Saturday and uh, You know, it's been looking pretty good. I'm not really seeing any dino getting strung out across the, the sand here. I put in some new sand um, around the time that I started with the treatment because it's supposed to help with, you know, establishing live rock and everything. Um, so I was like, you know, why not uh, add new sand? I put in the Carib Sea Aragonite uh, just because I wanted something a little heavier um, that would, you know, wouldn't get blown around like crazy because uh, I do plan on, you know, adding some more pumps um or at least bigger ones but anyway um yeah i did a very minimal cleanup today i had green hair algae um on the top of the pumps with a little bit of dino left over uh, it was kind of all across the top here uh, a little bit on the back going up uh, up the cords quite a bit um there was some green hair algae stranded across the back there's still a bit um, you can see here on my overflow, um, you know, little strands of it because my urchin did a pretty good job of going through there. Um, and, you know, some on the rock and different places. Not too bad, though. It, you know, it's very little kind of to be expected with a minimal cleanup crew. So what I'm going to do now... Um, kind of get on the search for a fighting conch i've had some you know we've all had some bad luck with diamond gobies they like to jump um i was having issues with adding anything to the crew um any fish or anything because of the previous fish i had in here it was a, a two spot bristle tooth tang very very beautiful fish but he just kind of ruled the tank and uh fought anything that I put in there so I got rid of them when I got these two clowns um, put a diamond goby in the tank and um, it I put a lid on the tank forgot one night one night uh, to put the lid back on the tank because I take it off during the day it was blocking a lot of the light um, so that night the goby jumped out uh, so I replaced it uh, or replaced the netting on the screen top with a, a netting that you can see clear you know more clear through um, and it seemed to work really good I got a new a new diamond goby put it in the tank and then like 
within 24 hours it got scared hit the net and popped it up and fell out the back so it didn't go through the net it lifted the net off of the bottom it was a pretty big diamond goby um so i think i'm just gonna kind of skip diamond gobies for a while at least um uh, i'm gonna get a fighting conch uh add a bunch of cleanup crew to you know really help tackle the green hair algae in here um I mean, there's not not really a lot of green hair algae at all. It's just minimal on, across the rocks. So, um, but it's good to have a good cleanup crew to make sure that that stuff stays gone. Um, but yeah, everything's been doing good. Uh, all the corals seem a lot more happy. Uh, their polyps are extending a lot more. My elegance that I got uh, was unhealthy when I originally got it. Uh, wasn't coming out at all. Um, I did a few things to kind of fix that up and it seems to be um, really coming out a lot more. You can see the uh, sweepers are extending a little bit more. Uh, I've noticed anyway. They're extended. Uh, it's got a lot of that uh, trademark color. I'm sorry about my camera here. I can't get um, can't adjust the white balance with this video for some stupid reason. I can do it on my camera but not this. But anyway. Um, yeah, a lot of the corals seem to be uh, a lot happier. Um, looks like my mushroom, Superman mushroom, is splitting again. So that's kind of cool. Hopefully it gets bigger. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, there's a, an update for you. Um, not much else that I can really say right now. Uh, but, uh, yeah, pretty excited that this, uh, this stuff seems to be working. Uh, again, it's uh, Reef Bright Live Rock Enhance. Um, they also have a um, Reef Enhance, I believe, which has, um, you know, different uh, bugs or something. And I'd have to take a look into it. Um, but uh, helps establish pods and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. Anyway. Uh, feel free to try that stuff out. I know Melev's Reef uh, has has it on their website. Um, you can also get it on at Marine Depot um, and a couple other places. But yeah, it seems to be pretty good stuff. Uh, feel free to try it. Uh, it does take. It's not a miracle cure. It doesn't work overnight. But uh, you know, you'll you'll see some differences after a week or so. Um, uh, anyway, I uh, hope you guys like the update. Uh, I'll post another one here after a bit. Um, kind of go over the equipment that I currently have or something. I'll figure something out. Um, feel free to subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button if you like the video. Um, leave any comments you have, any questions or anything like that. And I'll try to ask, answer them as soon as I can. Pretty busy, so um, you know I'll get to it when I can. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.